All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today we have a few things to catch up on within Pokemon Go. So there has been a few updates with the news regarding new events, things like that. So let's go over them now and see what is coming up in the next couple of weeks. So the first one is a hatch day for Cleffer. Um, to be honest, this one's not going to be as big as like the Ryalu one or the Togepi one, just because Cleffer's not really that important. I don't, I've never seen it in PvP, but maybe it's in different leagues. I don't know. But anyway, this hatch date is going to be on April 28th at 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. So that's this Sunday coming. Um, Cleffer will hatch more frequently from two key eggs, and you'll have an increased chance of hatching a shiny one, which is always good. You get two times candy from hatching eggs that doesn't specifically say just 2k eggs, so that's good. Um, increased chance of getting a shiny cleffer and 2k eggs will drop more frequently from Pokestops. Now, you will be able to get one egg from every single Pokestop and it will most likely be a 2km egg. Sometimes it changes, but most of the time, I think like 90% of the time, it is going to be a 2k egg. There is going to be a timed research during the day that will uh, um, award you with a super incubator and some XP that does not cost us any money. That's good. Finally getting some free stuff rather than a ticket. But then we get the timed research that is paid for, which is $1, and you get two times hatched Stardust, one star piece, one super incubator, and XP. This is not worth it. Keep your money. Unless you're really, really going to go hard on different eggs rather than 2k, I would say this is not worth your money and definitely leave it. However, Cleffer Hatch Day extended bonuses. So from Friday, April 26th at 10 a.m. till Sunday, April 28th at 5 p.m., you'll get half egg hatch distance when eggs are placed into incubators. That's huge because you have three days to do it. So if you are an avid walker and you get more than like 15,000 steps a day, this is going to be massive for your accounts. Obviously, you won't get the Stardust increase if you buy the ticket or the candy increase, but half egg hatch distance is huge. Not only that, when you are going through Pokestops, you will get some field resource tasks, which will revolve around Cleffer as well. Um, web bundles, not bothered about that. All the event bundles. Um, there is a huge thing going on in the shop. I don't know if you've seen it, but I did see um, Mystic7 post about it as well. Um, the fact that they've moved the coins from the bottom to the very top of the shop. Now, that is either a desperate attempt to get people to spend the money because of some of the things they've done. Now, this just proves that Pokemon Go may be on the downturn, and it is horrible to say. But until that, until we get confirmation that the app is shutting down, definitely don't definitely take that with a pinch of salt. However, it does look like they are grasping for money. So, if you are free to play, definitely stay that way. This is the only way we can get Niantic to start doing things that they've took away from us. Hopefully, bringing it back. So, like the remote raid passes. If they really need the money, they'll just go one day. You know what? Let's just enable it again, and things like that. So, definitely definitely stay free to play it will eventually work it might just take a while to get through to Niantic now not only are we looking at the hatch day we also have the dream hack Melbourne event for 2024 and that is from April 26th till April 28th um, at Melbourne Park um, this event is going to be an in-person event with some giveaways as well uh, the event bonuses are low modules will last three hours does not include gold, golden laws. I wish they would. Um, law modules will have a chance of un attracting unknown D. Two times buddy catch assist chance and then half stardust cost for trades. Um, there will be field research tasks based around this and you'll be able to find the following Pokemon. Hisuian Sneasel, Furfru, Gumi, Sandigast, Jangmoo, and Dubwall. And if you're lucky, the ones that have a star next to them, you'll be able to find a shiny one. Now the interesting one here, is Gumi. So if it is going to be, it doesn't say it's a higher shiny chance, but if it is, that's because the um, community day isn't until June for that one. There is going to be a timed research for this event, and that is going to be me, you, and Pikachu. Complete the task to earn Stardust, XP, and Pikachu candy with an encounter with Pikachu wearing a red party hat. Um, nothing else is mentioned there. It is just going to be an Australian event for that one. So definitely, if you are near Melbourne Park, definitely go and check it out. 
and you might also get the field research too. All right, guys, that is where I'm going to leave this. We are going to go over the poker shop and what they've done with poker coins and see and go through exactly what this is this is going to cause for Pokemon Go in the long run. But for now, that's where we're going to leave this video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment what you, you guys thought on the Hatch Day and also the Melbourne event. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll speak to you all in the next one.